okay, so yesterday was the Xbox Developer Direct, and we got some information on a few new games coming out this year, and one of those games was Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, which was developed by Machine Games within Bethesda. This was a game that I was more eager to see because I had more question marks about it. I am really excited for Hellblade 2. I cannot wait for that game. That looks like it's going to be game of the year contender. So I was already excited for Hellblade 2 and already seen enough of it. So I really didn't need to go into this developer direct knowing much more other than a release date. Indiana Jones had the most question marks because Machine Games is mostly known for first person shooters, which they are most known for the Wolfenstein franchise which I absolutely adore machine games Wolfenstein games I just think they're fantastic visually the gameplay is fantastic the story is awesome but when it was announced that they would be doing the Indiana Jones game I had a lot of questions because is this game going to be first person is it gonna be third person and that's just not my thoughts a lot of people on the internet had a lot of questions surrounding machine games in this Indiana Jones game and the fact that we're getting it this year and we got a extensive gameplay and trailer for this game I thought it was very very exciting now I will be honest I got a little deflated when I found out it was going to be in first person when Todd Howard said we were going to see Indiana Jones through his eyes I did feel a little bit of disappointed however when I saw the gameplay I got super excited because the gameplay that they showed I felt like first person worked very well for the game that they were making and like I said before I love machine games Wolfenstein franchise so to get that with Indiana Jones and still be able to use the whip and do all the things that Indiana Jones does and also to have the camera pull back in third person during certain segments and all the cuss scenes will all be in third person as well i felt like okay this is a great blend of the first person and third person and the more i thought about it the more i was okay with it and i really like the direction that they decided to go because we all know if this game would have been in third person there would have been a ton of comparisons to the uncharted franchise and even possibly the tomb raider franchises even though those two games are are actually based upon Indiana Jones. So if it wasn't for Indiana Jones, we wouldn't have Lara Croft or Nathan Drake. But nonetheless, if they would have done third person, it would have been like, oh, this is just Xbox's version of Uncharted. So it was nice to see that Todd Howard, Bethesda, and Machine Games were able to take the Indiana Jones franchise, do something very unique with it. And I really enjoyed the fact that you can approach these missions several different ways you can go in guns blazing you can go in with fist to fist combat and just beat the way through the game or you can do something like sneaking and they're going to have tons of different puzzles and everything you would expect after watching the indiana jones movies would be incorporated in the game i thought the whip physics what they showed in the trailer was awesome that you can use the whip for several different things and that was the one thing i was most concerned about was how was this whip going to work in the first person aspect but it seemed to work very very well you could do so many different things things with the whip and I really enjoyed that they incorporated that mechanic because that is essential to Indiana Jones when you think Indiana Jones you think of that brown hat and that whip and I'm so glad that they were able to make that whip work in the first person game that they were developing so I think it was a fantastic trailer I, I really enjoyed the Hellblade stuff that they showed I think Hellblade is just going to be a phenomenal game but I had the most question marks around Indiana Jones and the great circle and the fact that this game is going to take place between Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade I think is a phenomenal idea as well I think graphic wise I mean it looked like Indiana Jones I really like the aesthetic of everything so I, I left this developer direct really really pleased and more excited for this game now than initially when we heard that it was being developed so gameplay is always key. You can hear something is working, but until you actually see it with your eyes, you can't really judge on how it's going to be. And I'll tell you what, that trailer blew me away. It was way better than I ever 
gave credit that I thought it would be. It was a phenomenal trailer. I liked everything that I saw. And, you know, shame on me for doubting machine games. They have never let me down before. And it looks like they're going to do, once again, another fantastic game. And I can't wait to get my hands on it as soon as it's released. So it's a good time to be a gamer. It's a good time to be an Xbox fan. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to be able to do and how awesome this game is going to be. But that's just my thoughts on it. I want to know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about the trailer and presentation for Indiana Jones in the Gray Circle? Are you looking forward to it? Are you as surprised as I am? Leave those comments in the comment box below. Smash that like and subscribe button. Until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and thank you for watching.